Hey everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here once again making a kit. I just did this making page kits with my Felicity Jane stuff. This time I'm doing something a little bit different. As I mentioned in the last video, I've been making kits in preparation for National Scrapbooking Day. That way, when it comes to that and there's all these challenges going on out there, uh, I have all my stuff all ready to go and I've got something to work with. So as I mentioned, and I will link it in the description box below, sorry, Xanthi has decided to play with something over there. Um, I will link in the description box below where I made five page kits for five layouts with my uh, stash of Felicity Jane. In this particular video, I'm going to be making a counterfeit kit. And I'm going to be counterfeiting this kit, which is the May 2019 hip kit. It is filled with Paige Evans. It is filled with um, Crate Paper All Heart and Pink Fresh Studio Joyful Day. So I've been thinking, oh, I should get that, I really like it, and then no, I don't need it, and then oh, I should get that, I really like it. A very circular logic. And the truth is, I don't need it. I have plenty of things in my stash that will work just as well as what I have. In fact, I do have two of the papers that are in this kit. Uh, I found finally found some of the AC American craft stuff that is in Joann's. So I believe these were 20 cents a piece. I bought more than just these two pieces. But for this counterfeit kit, I'm going to pull in these two pieces as it will help me match other items as well. So what I do when I do a counterfeit kit, rather than looking at the picture of what's in that kit, I write down, in this particular case, it was on a post-it note, what I saw when I look at that. So they had their exclusive piece of paper, and for me, what stood out was one side had peaches and one side had a blue gingham. Sorry, I can read my writing, y'all probably can't. <laughs> then they had the crepe paper all heart, stardust, black and white wonky star, selfie, which I had photorealistic frames and black and white bows. So I do what looks what it looks like to me, what I think will um, be indicative of that piece of paper without trying to match it completely visually. So in this particular case, obviously I do have two of the pieces of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my stash and I've pulled a couple things to start with just because they're kind of obvious choices. The first thing I, pulled out was all of my crepe paper. So anything I have that's crepe paper that I don't have a, like a, a, a lot of, I then put into this bag and this has all of these. So I have little bits of these. So I'll start with this. I also pulled out my Maggie Holmes. I have an entire bag of Maggie Holmes. And so same thing. Uh, where I don't have a ton of the collection, I put it into this container. Um, so I have all of these in here. The one thing I do have a ton of that I put in here is Bloom, just because I find that goes well with a lot of different lines. I then also have my Bag O Singles. So these are kind of one-offs and singles, like either they came in a Studio Calico kit and I didn't like the, what they looked like with that cat kit, or it went, ooh, I like that piece of paper. I'm going to buy one piece of paper and then I never use that one piece of paper. So it ends up in here and this is what I do when I'm making a kit a lot. I start off here. So I'm gonna start off with these, see what I can get to pull my paper and I will be back when I've done that and I will show you my paper choices. Okay, so I am back. I have my 10 papers plus one specialty paper picked out. I don't allow myself a ton of time to do this. That's why I pre-pick um, some things to look through because I did find 10 papers in those that work and I don't allow myself too much time to do it. In fact, I kept my camera running while I was doing it. So right here, I will place how long it actually took me to pick 10 pieces of paper for my hip kit counterfeit kit. That's the magic number, people. All right, so I actually took 
it was only eight papers because I already have my two that I purchased that are in that kit. These two Paige Evan ones, Paige Evans ones. They are page number 14 and page number eight from the Horizon line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain why I picked the pieces of paper I picked um, based on what I wrote down here on my lovely little post-it note. So one of the things I wrote down was orange tone on tone. Now also in that kit, there was a notebook paper. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here because this is an orange tone on tone. And then this is also, it's not really orange. It's more of a coral, but it definitely goes with things. This is actually from Crate Paper Open Book. So this is from 2014. Boom, stash busting. Okay, next up, uh, one of the things I had written down here was photorealistic frames. Well, these aren't frames, but they're stamps and they have the photorealistic pictures on the stamps. So I thought this went really well. It also has the same sort of beachy colors that are in this kit. This is from Crate Paper Oasis. See, if you go into your stash looking at the same lines that are part of what you're coveting the kit you're looking at to spend brand new money on you know you will find some things that are very similar so as i said crate paper oasis this one is called postcard and it is from 2017 so and once again it does have a grid on it as well but this is the side i actually picked it for Okay, next up from Maggie Holmes Gather, we have Melody. I did not choose it for this side. I don't necessarily think I will or won't use this side, but I actually picked it for this side, and that is because one of the things I wrote down was multicolor plus signs. Now, obviously, these are not multicolor, but this mustardy yellow is in this kit, so I definitely thought it would work really well. Here, let me show you. See? I mean, this is just a touch bit darker, but definitely works together. All right, so this is it from, as I said, Gather. And what year is this? This is 2016. So we're doing pretty good here, digging deep into the stash. Next up, we had, uh, uh, I had written down Big Flower. And I liked this tropicalness of this particular one. I had several large flower pattern papers to choose from. I did like, as I said, the tropicalness with those postcard, um, with that postcard paper and with a couple other papers going on. I did like the fronds along with the uh, floral pieces. This is from Chasing Dreams. It is called Hello Beautiful. It is from 2016 and then of course a black and white heart is always useful. Next up also from Chasing Dreams. Okay, sorry about that. Unexpected coming home. You may hear some ambient noise coming from a couple rooms over. That is because my nephew is eating some dinner and I can't really tell him not to eat because that would be, you know, rude. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on. We have next up, we have the collected piece of paper from Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. Now, what I had written down was black and white text. Now, obviously this has pink on it as well, but same, it matches the line, so that's totally okay. It doesn't have to be a perfect match. It just has to remind you of the same style. The B side of this is this very vibrant blue and white stripe. Now, in the kit, there's actually a blue and white gingham piece. I will tell you truthfully, I'm not a huge fan of gingham. I am definitely much more a fan of stripes. The color blue is similar and it goes quite well. So it's kind of in between the dark and the light blue, but I think it'll still work or I don't have to use it because I can use the other side. So, and this is, as I said, from Chasing Dreams, just as the other piece, so it's from 2016. Then we have from Tim and Beck. Tim and Beck was kind of like a subsidiary of Studio Calico for a while, and they had this uh, gridded notebook paper, and one of the uh, 
words I wrote down was notebook paper. The B side is this uh, collage travel paper. And I don't know necessarily if this will go, but this is incredibly neutral. It would be great as a background piece and it totally works. Also from Crate Paper, I pulled this chalky green uh, with a poke, uh, random polka dots on it and I have on here dark teal tone on tone. So this isn't necessarily a total tone on tone. It's more like a teal with white, but a lot of times a tone on tone and a single color in white or a single color in black can be very similar to each other. So this is also from Chasing Dreams and this is the other side of it. I've actually used this side as a background. Um, I, I, I don't know how I ended up with like several of this piece of paper, but I've actually used both that side and this side on other layouts. And then my final piece of paper is this one, also from Crate Paper. It is from the Chasing Dreams line. It does have this botanical floral on this side. I did not pick it for this side. I actually picked it for this side. Once again, I have another black and white piece. There's several black and white pieces, um, the black and white bows. Uh, and also the multicolor plus signs. So I kind of mix the two of those. And even though, yes, I do have another piece of paper that has plus signs, that's totally okay because I actually really like plus signs and I don't end up using them very often. So this might be a slight challenge for me to use, but I am up for it. Now there was also one specialty piece of paper. It was the gold foil vellum piece from Dear Lizzie uh, all that's good, that's all good, something like that, whatever her newest line is. So what I picked was from my stash, I have a little container, that's not gonna work really well. I have a little container of specialty vellums and acetate pieces. So I pulled this, this is from We Are Memory Keepers, so obviously it is quite old as We Are Memory Keepers doesn't do paper anymore, they just do tools. And it has text on it, but I don't necessarily think the text is important, just the idea of a metallic vellum piece as a specialty piece to go on with it. So there you have it, I have all of my papers chosen. So what I'm going to do next is use the clues I wrote down from the embellishments to pull out the embellishments. But before I do that, I'm just gonna spread out all the paper and show you them all together. Okay, so here we go. Here we have my counterfeit paper for my kit that I'm making based off of the Hip Kit 2019 May Kit. I'm going to now move on to my embellishments. All right, so I have pulled some stuff from my stash for this embellishment portion of the kit. Now I said, now everything is gonna go with everything, but there's enough of things on here that will go that I'm happy pulling it in and then I will just ignore the stuff that doesn't go. So first thing first, I picked out these Maggie Holmes confetti die cuts. Now some of this is birthday themed, so I will skip that part, but there are florals and there are labels and there are all sorts of things that will definitely go with this kit. I then also picked out from Pink Fresh Studio. There was some Pink Fresh Studio in the original kit. I didn't happen to pick any out to go into this kit, but this is Let Your Heart Decide, and I actually had two of these puffy stickers. Now, the peachy stuff won't necessarily go, but what will go is the green items and the black items, and I'm sorry, my animals have decided to go crazy. Uh, so I picked that as well. Now from the Horizon line, so obviously it's going to go with several of the pieces, and this is obviously also brand new that I picked up at Joann's. I did pick up this, I did put in this 6x12 sticker sheet. There are in the original kit, sorry, words, there is a, a sticker book from Crate Paper All Heart. There's also, oh sugar, puffy frames from All Heart, and that's where I got the puffy stickers from. There are exclusive die cuts, so that's where I got the die cuts from. They also have acetate butterfly die cuts. I do not have acetate butterfly die cuts. I don't have a ton of acetate, but I do have these Maggie Holmes clear stickers. This came out with the Bloom collection and they are black and gold. So I thought those would definitely go. There's actually, I think there's an, I don't know, 
actually it might just be this side I this is obviously it came out with the bloom collection I actually just recently got this as a gift from uh, a secret sister at a crop so I have not used it simply because I have only had it for about six months now they also have in the kit some chipboard stickers so I pulled out these uh, chipboard stickers from Chasing dreams. That's what these came out with and I just have this one side left So except for this this one label chipboard So I just cut that off and stuck it in because everything was falling It was just trying to put it back in with just that one was driving me bonkers And then the last thing I grabbed were these puffy stickers that came with the bloom collection Once again, I don't have a ton of these left, but there's enough that they're still usable And as I said, there were puffy frames. I don't have any puffy frames, but I thought I would add two different um, puffy items from my stash okay as I mentioned whenever I do kits I don't bother adding alphas because they sit directly to my right and I don't bother adding enamel dots because they sit also directly to my right and I almost always add enamel dots to my layout so it's not something I forget all that often to add because they're my I, they're my signature finishing touch uh, as someone was someone was talking about on one of the Facebook groups what's your signature finishing touch and I was like are we supposed to have one of those because it's probably enamel dots <laughs> All right, so this is my counterfeit kit for the May 2019 Hip Kit Club. As I, as you can see, I found definitely things that are indicative of that kit from my own stash. And so the only brand new things are the two pieces of Horizon paper and the Horizon stickers. Everything else is back from 2016 to 2014. So I will have this ready to go for International Scrapbooking Day on May 4th. Speaking of International Scrapbooking Day, don't forget I will be doing a live YouTube hop video on that particular day. I will make a little short video about it and give you in the um, description box a list all the ladies who are participating and their YouTube channels so you can hop along. I know there's going to be some prizes so that's always super fun but now I've got my five page kits and then my one larger kit all set to go so on that day I can just go ahead and scrap. All right, folks, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please just leave it in the comment section below. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super duper awesome. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.